Hello everyone, I'm Mark the Statman Skevich. I'm here with the legendary Harold Letterman, also known as the Letterman Card on HBO Boxing. I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, a lot of people don't know this is also an Ivy League graduate of Columbia. He got his, uh, he got his license to, f f to judge title fights right after he graduated in 67. Uh, ended his judging career in 99 and still works with HBO Boxing. What, Harold, I have to ask you, what made you decide to, to stop judging fights? Well, I stopped, actually stopped in 2001. Um, you know, we were getting a lot of controversy because I would score a fight for a guy who would uh, later appear on HBO and, you know, there was just too much conflict of interest. So HBO asked me to stop judging and uh, my daughter judges, so that's fine. I'm just working for HBO and there's no conflict with anybody. You mentioned your daughter, Julie, who judges as well, and I was wondering, the, do you guys usually see the fight the same way sometimes, or most of the time? Or I, I would say most of the time. We go over a lot of fights together, you know, so we can uh, get some ideas about how we're thinking, and, uh, you know, I try to teach her as much as I can. You also talked about the controversies with boxing and judges. Do you feel that the judges still feel the same way? Uh, is it the same as it was before? Is it worse as far as the sport of boxing is right now? I think boxing right now is being judged very, very well, you know, on a professional level. The only thing I'd like to see is, is that these commissions knuckle down a little bit, use their brains, and when you get a high-profile fight, just pick the three best judges you can find. Forget about where they live. Forget about what sanctioning body they belong to. Pick the three best judges, period. In other words, if a fight comes along in, in Las Vegas because the casinos are putting up the most money for a high-profile fight, whether it's Pacquiao against Floyd Mayweather or whoever, uh, pick three judges that you know are really outstanding judges. Let's say Julie Letterman from New York, Joe Pasquale from New Jersey, Max DeLuca from California, uh, you know, uh, Michael Pernick from Florida. Pick the best judges. Forget about where they live. Nevada's uh, real starchy about this thing. They're always using Nevada judges because they want to get Nevada, uh, you know, uh, they want to keep the money in Nevada, make sure that their judges get the most money, and it's not fair. Their judges are screwing up. They should get the best judges you can find for high-profile fights regardless of where they live. Just pick the best. Well, that definitely makes sense because you do want to call the fight right. Um, a recent fight, the Pacquiao-Bradley fight, you had it scored 119 to 109. Do you feel that Pacquiao got robbed in that fight? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, Manny kept nailing him with that left hand. I mean, you couldn't miss it. He just whacking him constantly, definitely doing more damage. Bradley had a sprained ankle. He couldn't set his feet to punch, for God's sake. Uh, Bradley's head was getting popped back all the time. Manny Pacquiao, I, I never saw one point in that fight where I could honestly say he was hurt. Not even once. If the fight were to happen, Pacquiao versus Mayweather, who do you think would win? Uh, I never predict fights that I might have to keep scoring. So, you know, I, I'm not partial to one guy or another. It would be a great fight, though. Southport against the right-handed guy. Power puncher in Pacquiao against the speed guy in Mayweather. It's a great fight. Do you think the fight will ever happen? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Early 2013, I'd say. Yep. Great. Also, Hall of Fame Boxing, Howard Letterman from HBO Boxing. It was a pleasure to have you on the show.